Gina. Today I'm going to show you how to make this necklace that I'm calling Lady Blue. I think it's a really elegant looking necklace. This is a long tutorial, however, because this necklace is not a really repetitious stitch that I can just teach you and uh, go away and come back and just show you a little bit more. I had to come back several times to show the next step. So it's a little bit longer. It's not particularly difficult, though it is not a, a real beginner's necklace either. It's moderate level. So um, anyway, this is what we're going to make. And let's look at the material list. And let me just say before I get asked that I got these crystals that I'm using in this particular um, necklace. I got them at Fire Mountain Gems. So if you're looking for the 12 millimeter cushion cut Swarovski, that's where I bought them. I'm sure there's other places, but that's where I got mine. Let's look at the material. Okay, list. for this project today, we will be using four millimeter round glass pearls. This is a butter color. Then we will be using 8-0, 11-0, and 15-0 seed beads. These are all round seed beads, and they are Toho. These two are metallic bronze, and this one is the galvanized aluminum permanent finish. Then we'll, we will be using some Delicas. This is an 11-0 Delica, and it is a bronze. I think it's antique bronze. Let me see. Metallic bronze. So this is a metallic bronze. You don't really see your delicas in this design anyway, but so you could conceivably use whatever color you want. And then I am using some four millimeter bicone crystals. This is a Swarovski zillion and it is sapphire. And then I am going to be using three 12 millimeter Rivoli cushion cut. So this is a cushion cut crystal and it's the foil bag. You can see it's 12 millimeter, and I will be using three of them. Now, someone had asked me to do a tutorial for them with cushion cut, so I just bought a few, and I wish I had bought more, because once I started designing with them, I really liked it. But, anyway, so we're going to use three, and then a small toggle, and then a size 12 beading needle, and I'm going to use some 8-pound Nanofill. And you can use 6-pound Fireline, but don't go any higher than 6-pound Fireline. You can conceivably use a 10-pound Nanofill. That would probably be fine, too. But an 8-pound is Nanofill is just about right to pass through these beads really easily. <clears throat> and I'm going to use a size 12 beading needle because I'm using 15-0 seed beads, and these galvanized aluminum seed beads sometimes are hard to pass over a bigger needle. Then you're going to put onto your needle about an arm's length and a half of thread. So measure from the tip of your fingers the length of one arm to the middle of your chest, and that should be enough. We want to leave a long thread on each component so that we can extend it and use it to make the necklace. So pick up 24 Delica seed beads, so I've, or Delica beads. So I've got 24 on my thread here. Make sure that you double count them so that you have exactly 24 and bring them to the end of your thread. You don't have to leave a really long tail, but you want enough so that they don't slide off and you can hold on to it. And then bring it into a loop, your thread into a loop like this, and go up through just a few of your first beads here so you can create a circle. Doesn't matter how many because we're going to go through all of them. Then continue once you've made your circle like this, continue sewing through all of the beads until you get back to where your tail and your working thread cross. So let's go ahead and sew through all of them. Make sure you don't miss any. And this is what you should have. Just like this. Now go through a few more. I'm going to go through like five more. Just to get myself away from the tail a little bit. Just makes it a little easier. And now this is what I have. Now we're going to begin this by picking up two 
of our Delica beads onto our needle. And we're going to create corners with this and we're going to start with our first corner. That's why we're picking up two. We're going to be doing peyote, but we're going to start with two peyote or two beads with our peyote. Now we're coming out of this bead here. We're going to skip the one in front of it and then go into the one behind the bead we're coming out of. So just like this. So actually, that was deceiving. You're coming out of this bead, skip over this bead and go into the one in front of the bead you've skipped. And then pull those two beads down on top of the bead you skipped. You're going to have to pull your tail and you're going to have to pull your working thread just to get them to lay on top of that bead correctly. You've got enough slack in your line now because we didn't tie a knot that you can move it a little bit to accommodate tension or slack as you need to to put your beads in. Now you've got you've put two beads in, you're coming out of this bead here, you're going to skip the one in front of it, you're going to pick up one bead onto your needle and you're going to go into the one in front of the bead you're skipping just like this and pull it down. We're going to do that twice so pick up another single bead, skip the bead in front of the bead you're coming out of and go into the bead behind the one you're skipping. So hold on to your piece and pull it down. Now we're going to create another corner. So we're going to pick up two delicate beads. We're going to skip this bead in front of the one we're coming out of and go into the next bead right here and pull those two beads down so that they lay on top of the bead you have skipped. Just like this. And then we're going to repeat the process. Pick up one, oops, let me get in camera here. Let me back off just a little bit. I want you to see what I'm doing, but I don't want to be out of camera either. So I'm going to pick up one delicate and I'm going to skip the one in front of the one I'm coming out of and go into the one in front of it. And then I'll pick up another single bead. I'll skip the one in front of the bead I'm coming out of and go into the next one. And pull it down into place. Now I'm going to create another corner. So I'm going to pick up two delicas. I'm going to skip this bead here in front of the one I'm coming out of and go into the one behind it. and I just put my thumb over it just to guide those beads down. If they twist, you'll have to untwist them because they do do that. And now I've got my third corner. Now I'm going to pick up a single delica, skip a delica, go into the one in front of it. And pull. And again, I will pick up a single delica and I will go in, I'll skip Delica and go into the one in front of it. Now we need to make our fourth corner and it's right where the tail is so don't worry about it, just tuck your tail down and ignore it. Pick up two Delicas. We're coming out of this Delica, we're going to skip this one and go into the one behind it. Pull those down to create a corner and turn your piece. Now we have to do our last two beads. So we're coming out of this bead right here. We're going to skip this one, go into the one behind it. I'll get you a little closer. Pick up a Delica skip this Delica, go into the one right before the corner. So right here. Pull that bead down. And then this will be our step up. We'll step up into the corner bead right here. So this is what you should have. And you'll be coming out right between the corner beads. Now you're going to pick up 
an 11 0 seed bead and you're going to put it into the corner. So you're coming out of one of the corner beads, you're going to go into the one right next to it and pull that 11 0 down into the corner. And then pick up a 15 0 seed bead and go into the next sticking up bead. So now we have little slots created from our beads going up and down. So we'll go into the sticking up beads, placing the 15 O's into the slots that the sticking up beads have created. So now I'm going to go into this next one with the 15 O, pull it together. Then I will pick up another 15 O, go into my corner bead right here, and then pick up an 11 O, and go into the next corner bead right next to the one I'm coming out of and pull my 11 -0 down into that corner. Pick up a 15 -0 and begin going into the sticking up beads on the side here. Um, there's a 15 -0 that won't travel down my needle and I'm using a size 12 needle. These galvanized aluminum 15 O's, for some reason, I have a lot of issues with them. So then we're going to go into the next sticking up bead with a 15 O. And again, into the next 15 O. And again, into the corner bead. Turn your piece, pick it up an 11 0, go directly into the next corner bead, right next to the one you're coming out of, and pull that 11 0 down into the corner. And just continue with your 15 0's again. So pick up a 15 0, go into the next Delica, the sticking up Delicas. And again, and again, and this is where my tail is, so I'm just going to tuck it behind, pick up another corner 11 0. You're coming out of one of the corner beads go into the one right next to it and pull that 11 0 down into the corner. And again, pick up your 15 O's and travel into the sticking up 15 O's until you get to your next corner. And here we will go into the corner bead, the Delica, and then up into the 11 0. And straighten everything out and that's what you should have. At this point I'm just going to cut my tail off because it just gets in the way. And it's woven in enough to where it'll be okay. So I have cut off my tail. This is what I have. Let's back off just a little. And now I'm coming out of this 11 0 seed bead right here. I'm going to pick up three 11 0's and I'm going to do one unit of right angle weave right into this 11 0. So I'm coming out of this side, I'm going to go into the opposite side and bring these three 11 0's down. And then I'm going to pick up a 15 0 seed bead and I'm going to go directly from this 11 0 into the 15 0 that I placed in my last round. And continue with my 15 0's between my previous 15 0's. So right in each sticking up 15 O, you're going to go into there and place 15 O's all the way until you get to the last one. Just seem to want to go through two beads there. And then once you pull that one down and untangle the knot in your thread, haha. <laughs> You will then pick up another 15 0. 
and you will go directly into the sticking up 11 O in the corner. Then you will pick up three 11 O's and make another unit of right angle weave. So we're just going to go into the opposite side of the bead we're coming out of, pull these three down into a unit of right angle weave. And then we will continue with our 11 or our 15 O's coming out of the 11 O in the corner, go directly into the 15 O in your previous round. And again, travel all the way down the side here, placing 15 O's between the sticking up 15 O's. Thread is just doing weird things. And then pick up another 15 O, travel directly into the corner bead right here. Let me rearrange my camera. I seem to not be able to stay in camera very well here. And then I'm coming out of the corner bead, so now I'm going to pick up three 11 O's and do the same thing, go into the opposite side here. And then begin doing my 15 O's again. So continue all the way over to this corner, put in your 11 O's, and then start your 15 O's. When we get to here, we'll be back. Okay, so I have gone all the way, put my corner in, gone all the way over to where I'm coming out of my last sticking up 15 O. I'm going to pick up a 15 O, go directly into the bottom bead of my first right angle weave corner and pull that 15 0 down. Now I am going to sew up into the side of the right angle weave unit. So I'm coming out of this bead, I'm going to go into the side bead, and then I'm going to go into the top bead of the right angle weave. And I'm going to pick up three 11 0 seed beads and make one more unit of right angle weave. So I'm just going to go into the opposite side, pull this down, and then I'm going to sew, I'm coming out of this top bead of the first right angle weave unit, I'm going to go down into this one here, and then into this one in the corner, the very first one, the bottom one, and I'm going to go up into this one. Now, just to anchor this, and um, make it a little bit simpler, we're going to change direction. So we are going to go back through until we come out of this bead. So we're co coming out of this one, we're going to go into this one, and this one here, and then as we come through that side bead in the first right angle weave unit, we're also going to go into the 15 O seed bead sticking up right next to it. And pull your thread through. Now this bead is anchored to this bead <clears throat> and we're going to pick up a 15 O seed bead and we're going to do peyote again. So go into the next sticking up 15 O here and then pick up another. Go into the next one here and pick up another. Go into your last 15 O here and then up into the side bead of the right angle weave unit. So I'm calling these ones that stick out horizontally the side beads and these ones that are vertical will be the top and bottom beads. So go up into the side bead here and then into the top bead right here. Pick up three 11 O seed beads. And make another unit of right angle weave by going into the opposite side of the bead you're coming out of. 
then go down into, so now we're in this middle bead of our two units here. We're going to go down into the side of the bottom unit and into the first 15 OC beads sticking up, just like this. And we're going to pull this through. Now if they curl up a little bit, that's okay. That's really what we want them to do in the end anyway, so that's okay. Just don't let them curl back. Let them curl up. And then pick up a 15 O. And then pick up another 15 O. And then pick up another 15 O. Go into this very last 15 O, and you can also go up into the 11 O on the side here. So up into the top corner bead of your right angle weave unit. My thread is really messing with me today. I don't get it. Pick up three 11 O seed beads and make another unit of right angle weave. Sew down into the 11 O on the bottom unit and into the first 15 O and continue until we come all the way over to this side right here where we started. So we're going to go here, pick up our 15 O seed beads, go into the corner, make another right angle weave, and then start your peyote. And right about here, we'll come back. And this is what you should have so far. Okay, so I've made my fourth corner of my units of right angle weave. And then I put in my first and second 15 O seed beads in the straight pass here. And now I'm going to put in my next 15 O seed bead. And then I am going to go up into the side arm of the bottom right angle weave right here. And then I am going to go into the middle right angle weave. And then we're going to change directions again. So what we are going to do is we are going to go up into this side arm here. We're going to go into this one here. And into this side one right here. Now we're coming out of this side arm of the upper unit of right angle weave. We're going to pick up two 15 O seed beads. And we're going to go over this recessed 15 O and into the upper 15 O right here. Placing two 15 O's between this 11 O and the sticking up 15 O. And then we will again put in a 15 O into the next slot. And then pick up another 15 O and put it into the slot after that. <clears throat> and here we will ignore this recessed 15 O, pick up two 15 O's, and go up into the sidearm of the upper unit of right angle weave, like this. Then we will go into the top unit, or the top bead of the upper unit, and then into the side bead. And do the same thing again. Pick up two 15 O's. Ignore the recessed 15 O. Go into the sticking up 15 O. And continue. Now as you pull these down, make sure they curl up and not back. Because they will start to curl up now. Then Continue placing your 15 O's in the middle portion. And then when you get to the last sticking up 15 O, pick up two 15 O's, go into the side arm, sew into the top, go into this side arm, and pick up your two 15 O's, go into the raised 15 O. Do that until we get all the way over to this side, and we'll be okay, back. Okay, so I've gone all the way around. 
And this is my last connection, my two 15 O's into this 11 O seed bead here. Now I'm going to go into the top 11 O here. And I am just going to pick up, make sure everything's tight, and then pick up two 15 O seed beads again. Fifteen O's won't go on my needle. Ah, just anything to make me crazy, I guess. Okay, two fifteen O's, and then I'm going to go over the two fifteen O's I put in the previous round and go into this fifteen O right here, and into the other one sticking up right next to it. So I'm going to go into both of these fifteen O seed beads right here and pull these two down and give a little tug. And you can see how it's already starting to curl over my thumb there. Now I'm going to pick up two more 15 O's and I'm going to go into the top bead here in the next corner and pull. Pull this tight and then you're not going to get it completely tight because that'll happen as we put the rest of the beads in. But pull it as tight as you can. Pick up two 15 O's. And then we're going to go to the side here again. I'm trying to turn this so you can see. Here's the two 15 O's I put in to the side of the right angle we previously. Here's the two middle sticking up 15 O's. I'm going to go through both of them and then I'm going to pull these two beads down and my corner curls over like this. Now I'm coming out of these two middle I'm going to pick up two 15 O's and into the top 11 O here I have to push this in, there we go, and pull. Now at this point you'll probably want to take one of your crystals and pop it face up into that corner that's already turned. You'll have to hold it as you do this, so you can probably do one or two, one more corner before you have to put it in, but I like to have it in there. And then pick up two 15 O's, and then go into the two middle 15 O's on your straight part of your weave, and pull that down. Try to get as much tension as you can, but like I said, at this point, it's not going to really pull tight. We'll have to sew through it again. Pick up two 15 O's. Let me back off just slightly. And go into the top bead in your next corner. And pull. Pick up two 15 O's. and, sorry about that, go into the two middle beads here. Now we need to pick up two 15 O's. And this one looks kind of strange because it's the bead is pulled over because we already did our last stitch. So go into that top bead, just look at it closely and find the very top bead and go through it. And as you turn your piece, you'll see that there's three 15 O's in line there. Go through those three 15 O's. And I'll get this close so you can see it. So I've got my two 15 O's on there, and then I've gone through all three, well, I did go through all three, my needle fell out, go through all three of these beads on this side. So through the top bead, and then through the three 15 O's here. Pull this down, and then really tighten it. Be careful how you pull your thread so that you don't get it all um, out of whack and you don't break your thread. 
pull your thread straight through and then we're going to sew back around going through 3 15 O's and 11 O and 3 15 O's all the way around. So I'm coming out of this 11 O right here or 15 O excuse me. I'm going to count these three and go through them. Right here. So I'm basically skipping a 15 O in the center. Go through three 15 O's, pull tight. And then now that you're coming out of this 11 O here, you're going to go down through these three 15 O's here and just three of them. There's one 15 O kind of recessed. We're skipping that. Go through those three and then go into the three, skip the recessed one, go into the three going up to your 11 O and put your needle through if you can all the way to the 11 O and pull. Continue sewing all the way around until we get back to where we started. And pull your thread tight as you do that to cinch everything in really okay, tight. Okay, so I've sewn all the way around. I'm coming out of this 11 o seed bead. doesn't matter which corner you're coming out of. Just make sure you've got them all um, sewn around at least once so that everything is cinched in and it looks pretty seamless. And then go up into the side arm of your little right angle weave here right there and then into the top 11 o right here and just leave the thread on set this aside and make two more exactly like this okay so I have made all three of my units I've put my link my needle on the one that has the longest thread though I've left long threads on all three of them but each one is a little different because I didn't exactly measure each one. So I've put my needle on the longest threaded one. And if you finished the way I showed you, and you should be coming out of this top 11 O seed bead in one of the corner units. You should come out of the top here. Now sometimes these little 15 O's on your unit will look kind of funny. You can kind of straighten them out with your needle and move them around so that they're not bunched. So I've straightened mine all out and made them look pretty. And now I'm going to pick up two 15 O seed beads. I'm coming out of this top 11 O seed bead right here. And I'm just going to go into the opposite side of it. Just like this. This is what you should have. Now, let's get just a little closer so you can see them very well. Now I'm going to go up into one of these 15 O seed beads. And I am then going to pick up two 11 O seed beads. And I'm going to go down into the 15 O next to the one I'm coming out of right here. And I'm going to pull these two beads down into a herringbone stitch like this. Now I'm going to pick up a 15 O seed bead and I'm going to go cross over the top into the first 15 O on this side. So just cross over, go up into that 15 O and the 11 O above it. And pull your thread through and pop that little 15 O that you picked up between the two 15 O's that you first put on your thread. And just like that. And then we're going to do um, a series of herringbone here with a little 15 O in between. So let's go ahead and start. We'll pick up two of our 11 O seed beads. We're coming out of this 11 O. We'll go into this one. Pull those two beads down. Lay them out so that they, the holes are up. And then pick up a 15 O seed bead and go into the bead right across from where you're coming out. So you're coming out here, go into this one here, and up into the one above it. Gently pull that 15 O into place between the two 11 O's that you just placed. Now your thread is going to want to get caught around the previous 15 O. Just make sure that you straighten it out and place it in between the beads just like that.
and then continue. Pick up two 11 0 seed beads. Coming out of this side, you're going to go straight down into the one right next to the one you're coming out of. Place your thumb over it and just pull those beads down until they lay out correctly. And then pick up a 15 0 and go up into the bead right next to the one you're coming out of and pull your thread gently until that 15 0 pops down right on top of the two 11 0s in the previous row. Just like that. And continue doing your herringbone stitch with the 15 0 in between until you have eight rows of herringbone. Just counting the 11 O's. I'm not counting the first unit of 15 O's that I put on to connect to my component. So you want eight of your double rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then <clears throat> you are going to pick up an 11 O, a 15 O, a pearl, a 15 O, an 11 O, and an 11 O, a 15 O, and I'll show you this when I'm done, a pearl, a 15 O, and an 11 O. So, this is what I have. I have an 11 O, 15 O, then a pearl, a 15 O, two 11 O's, a 15 O, a pearl, a 15 O, and an 11 O. I'm going to bring these down on my thread. And then I am going to go back through the 15 O on the opposite side from the one I'm coming out of. So I'm coming out right here. I'm going to go down into this one and pull my thread through and bring these beads around into a loop like this. Now I'm going to pick up a 15 -0 seed bead and I'm going to go across so I'm coming out of this first 15 or 11 0 right here I'm going to go down into the 11 0 right across from it. So let me separate those so you can see where I am. I'm right here in my original herringbone and then I will travel up through all these beads. So I'm coming up through the 11 0, the 15 0, and the pearl, and I'll pull. And then I'm going to go up into the um, to the 15 0 and the 11 0 after the pearl. Then I'm going to pick up an 11 0 seed bead, just like this. And I'm going to go back down into the beads on the opposite side. So I'm going into the 11 0, 15 0, pearl, and then into the 15O and 11O right here and pull. Now I'm going to pick up a 11O um, or a 15O seed bead and I'm going to cross back over. So I'm coming out of this new 11O on my piece. I'm going to pick up a 15O and cross over into the 11 0 just opposite of where I'm coming out on the other side and then travel back up through my beads. So I'm going through all the beads on this side, the 11 0, 15 0, pearl, 15 0, like this. Now I'm coming out of my pearl. I'm going to come up into this peaked 11 0 on the top right here. And this is what you should have. Let me back off just a little bit. And now we are going to pick up a pearl and an 11 0, and then a pearl and an 11 0. And then another pearl. Sorry, my beads just are not picking up. Okay, so I've got, I'm coming out of this bead on top. I have got a pearl, 11 0, pearl, 11 0, pearl. And then I'm going to come back into this bead right here.
And now I'm going to sew around this unit I've just created again. So I'm just sewing through all these beads. Well, it looks a little clumsy, but just through all of them. Ah, sorry guys. And then back into this 11-0 here. And then up into this pearl, and then I'll come out through the 11-0 between the pearls. And this is what you should have. Now we are coming out of this 11-0 right here. We are going to pick up a 15-0, and now we're going to go into 8-0s just to make this part up on top a little bit more substantial. So we'll pick up a 15-0, an 8-0, two 8-0s, and a 15-0. And this is what you should have on your needle, 15-0, two 8-0s, 15-0. Drop it down, and we're coming out of this 11-0 right here. We're going to go into the opposite side of the 11-0, and we're going to pull these beads down until they split and lay out like this. Then we're going to sew back up through the 15-0 and the 8-0 here, and then we're going to pick up two 8-0 seed beads and we're going to go back down through the 80 here. The one opposite of the one we're coming out of. Lay your beads out like this, pick up a 15-0, and then come back up through right here. Now, I did tell you to leave your threads on the long, on your long on your units. However, we're going to have to tie one on this side so we can build both sides. And then instead of having to sew through our units, we'll use the long thread we retain to do the back of the necklace after we've put on our units. So what we're going to do is we're going to get another needle and um, you may even want to extend your fire line here or your nano fill here if you want, but I'm going to leave it until I use up a little bit more and then I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to grab a pretty good length of thread, probably not quite a wingspan. It doesn't really matter, just as long as you have a decent length. So I'm going to say about an, arm's an arm length. Let's see, what did I pull? I pulled from my fingertips to past my opposite shoulder. So then I'm going to thread another needle and we will tie this on when we come back and we will start this side also so we can work the two sides. Okay, so together. I've threaded my needle and I want to make a correction. We're not going to need that much thread, so just probably one arm's length is more than enough. So just measure from your fingertips to your shoulder on one arm. And <clears throat> I'm going to tie on and sew through this unit right here so that I can access this bead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under this thread bridge right here next to the 11-0 and the pearl. And I'm just going to bring my thread through, draw it through, and then I will tie a knot right here. making sure that my thread goes down between the beads as I pull my knot. And then you can tie one more if you really feel like you need to, but I'm just going to sew through. I don't want a big knot showing. And um, I will cut this down and um, burn it down so that you can't see it in a few minutes. But first, I'm just going to, now that I have my knot right here, I'm just going to sew into these beads and all the way around this unit right here. So I've gone into the 11 -0 and the pearl. Then I'm going to go into the 11 
between the two pearls here. And then I'm going to go up into the pearl and the 11 -0 here. And then I'm going to cut this down. Now you can leave a, ta a tag if you like to burn it down later. You'll want to burn it down towards the back of your piece. I'm just going to cut it down pretty good. I'm just leaving a small tag with my dull scissors here. Okay. So I've just left a tiny tag in the back of my necklace. And now I am here and I'm ready to start again. And we will weave through this enough to where you don't have to worry about it coming back out. So now we have both sides. We're going to do exactly what we did on this side here. So we're going to pick up a 15 0, two 8 0s, and a 15 0. That 15 0 won't travel down my needle. Let me get another one. And I'm going to go into the opposite side of the 11 0 I'm coming out of, right here. And pull this down. And then, now that I have this, I'm going to sew up into. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm going to go into this 15 0, this 8 0 here. And bring my thread through. Then I'm going to pick up two eight O's and I'm going to go down into the eight O next to the one I'm coming out of, pull them down, lay them out, pick up a 15 O seed bead, and then come back up through both of the eight O's on this side. And now I have both sides nice and even. And I'm going to make four units of um, herringbone with my 8 seed beads. So I've already got two on each side. So you can start on either side. doesn't really matter. You can go back and forth, do one side, then do the other. doesn't matter. You can just build one side if you'd like. So now I am going to go into this bead next to the one I'm coming out of. And then I'm going to pick up a 15-0 seed bead, cross over, go into the 8-0 next to the one I'm coming out of, and the one on top of it, and pull this 15-0 down. Make sure it goes between the beads, just like this, and then do another set. Now I'm just going to do one side, so off camera you can do the other side if you'd like however you want to do it, but me going back and forth doing both sides is going to take a lot more camera time, so I'm just going to do this one side and show you because the other side will be exactly the same. Okay, so now that we have our four units of herringbone, what we're going to do is another embellishment with pearls. So we're going to pick up a 15-0, a pearl, a 15 0 and then two 8 0s, and I will show you what I have on my needle, don't worry. And a 15 0, a pearl, and a 15 0. This is what I have 15 0, pearl, 15 0, two 8 0s, 15 0, pearl, 15 0. And I'm going to drop this down to my piece. And then I am going to come out, come into the bead next to the one I'm coming out of, right here. Go down into it, pull these down into a loop. And then I will pick up a 15-0 seed bead, and I will cross over and go into the 8-0 on this side, also the 15-0 and the pearl. And pull until that 15 0 lands between my 11 0s, and sometimes you have to guide them. 
just like this. This is what you should have. Now you're going to come up into the 15-O above the pearl and the 8-O above the pearl. Pick up two 8 seed beads. Go down into the pearl or the 8 next to the one that you're coming out of. Also, go down into the 15 and the pearl and the um, just the pearl. There we go. Ignore the 15 O's underneath the pearl. Now you're going to pick up an 11 seed bead and you're going to cross over and go into the pearl opposite of the one you're coming out of and then come up through the pearl and the 15 O right here and then go up into the 8 O here just one 8 O Actually, you can go through two, but I just really want to go through one. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. There. Go through one. Cross over and go into the one next to the one you're coming out of. So right here, we're going into this one. And then we're going to pick up an 11 O seed bead. And cross over just into the 8 O's and go back up through it. Pull those together. So now this is what you should have. Now we're going to continue making um, more units of 8-0s right here. So we will pick up two 8-0s, go into the opposite one you're coming out of, and then we're going to pick up a 15 -0 seed bead cross over and place it just like we've been doing all along. And here we are going to do another embellishment. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick up a 15-0 and then we're going to pick up a pearl and an 11 0 and then we're going to pick up a pearl and a 15 0 and come back down through the 8 0 next to it and I'll show you what beads I have here so I have a 15 0 a pearl an 11 0 a 15 a, a pearl and a 15 0 come down through the 8 0 and then pick up a 15 0 cross over, go into the 8 and up. Try not to screw up your other ones. There we go. And come through here. Now if you'd like to stop and do the other side, catch it up, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, so I have done this side of the next step, but I'm going to show you exactly from the point we left off on this side over here so that you can go back and watch it and do this side. So this is exactly where we left off. We're coming out of the 11 O seed bead between the pearls. Then we are going to pick up a 15 O and two 8 O's or a 15 O and 8 O, a 15 O. And then we are going to go through our next component. So grab your next component or a component and go through the very top bead opposite of the unit that you have your string coming out of. So here we're going to go through the very top bead in our right angle weave unit towards the front we're going to go through that bead. So you've got a 15 0 
an 8 and a 15 and then pick up a 15 and an 8 and a 15 and go through the opposite side of the 11 that you're coming out of. And pull this all together like that. And then at this point, we're going to sew through it one more time, and then we'll place an 11 0 between our pearls here. So, first of all, just go through all of these beads on this side. It's a connection, so we want to reinforce it. And then we will go through the 11 0 again. and then go through the beads on this side. After you come through this 11 0 here, we're going to sew down into the pearl right here. We are then going to move our thread to the middle here I'm kind of coming out the outside of my pearl. I want to come towards the inside. Pick up an 11 0 seed bead and go back up through just the pearl. Right here. And then you're going to pick up a 15 0 seed bead and a bicone crystal and a 15 0 seed bead. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so what I've got is a 15 0 bicone 15 0. I'm coming out of the top of this pearl. I'm going to go down into the bottom of this, or into the top of this pearl here, and pull this embellishment over the top, just like this. And then I'm going to sew through this 11 0 seed bead right here. And then up into the pearl again. And then I'm going to go into my embellishment one more time just to make sure that it doesn't break with a crystal there. So I'm going to go up into this 15 0 right here into the crystal, into the 15 0 and the pearl, and just the pearl. And I'm exiting towards the back of my piece. Now both sides of mine match. So if you want to, right here, you can stop and um, do this side. And then after you're done, or you can wait and tie off and then do that side. So I'm going to show you how to tie this thread off because we've got two threads to work with now. So I'm going to turn this over. I'm coming out of the pearl. I'm going to sew through this 11 0 seed bead right here. and then up through this pearl. And then I'm going to go into this 11 0 here. It's between the pearls. And then into this 15 0 and 11 0 here. And right here between the 15 0 and the 8 0, excuse me, it's an 8 0, not 11 0. I'm going to tie a knot. So I'm just going on the thread bridge between the two beads and guiding my knot down to make sure it goes down in between these two beads. And then I'm going to sew up into this 15 0 right here. Pull so my knot tightens. And then I'm going to go into the 11 0 my unit is attached to right here or my um, component is attached to. Then into the right angle weave. 
If you want to, you can tie another knot right here on the thread bridge, right here. So go between these two beads in the right angle weave unit, grab the thread bridge, make a loop, pull through, and then you can sew into Let's see where we're coming out. Yeah, we're coming out of this love note. So we can sew into the peyote a little. So I'm going to go into this one. It doesn't truly matter how you do this, just as long as you follow your original thread path, it's fine. I'm going to go through these two beads. Then I'm going to cut off my thread right here. And then I will burn it down. Just get the heat close. Didn't quite get that burnt down enough. And tuck it in the best you can. You can use your needle and tuck it under too. I left my tag a little bit too long, so I've got a really long, big knot that I didn't want, so I'll tuck it in there. Like that. Now you can't see it. And now, at this point, you can stop the video and go back and do this side, tie it off, and then you should have two components with two threads. And we'll pick up where we left off. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and finished this side so that I could design it while off camera and then come back and show you this side in full detail. And then all you have to do is back up your video and watch it again as you do this side on your necklace. <clears throat> I think it'll be a little bit easier for you to do that than go all the way back to an entire side. So let's go ahead and fin finish this side according to where we left off. So we left off coming out of the component we've created in the top 11 OC bead here. <clears throat> Let me get you a little closer. Now we're just going to do five or four stitches of herringbone with the little 15 OC bead in between covering the thread. So we're going to pick up two 8 OC beads. You're coming out of this 11 O on the top of your component. Drop your 8 OC beads down and then just go into the opposite side of the 11 o where you're coming out and pull those beads down into a herringbone stitch. Now we're going to go up through the bead that we are coming out closest to, right here. And we are now prepared for herringbone. So pick up two more 8 OC beads. <clears throat> And you're coming out of this bead, go into this bead, just like we've been doing. Pull those two beads down, and then pick up a 15 O seed bead, and cross over into the bead next to the one you're coming out of, and go through it and the bead on top of it, and pull that 15 O seed bead into place between the two 8 O's you first placed. Continue doing the herringbone stitch for two more stitches and we'll be back. Okay, so now I have my four stitches of herringbone. You can see that I have my 315 OC beads on, but I do not have this one on the very last stitch yet. That's where you need to be. Then you will pick up onto your needle. Show you exactly what I have. 15 O, a four millimeter round pearl, an 11 o, a pearl, a 15 o, two 8 o's, a 15 o, a crystal, and a 15 o. That's what you will pick up onto your needle. Then you will drop that down. You're coming out of the outside stitch of herringbone. It's very important that that's where you're at. If you, for some reason, are doing your herringbone a different direction than I am, then you'll need to tie off on one of the thread bridges and get yourself over to this side. Just move your thread over. 
So now I'm coming out of this bead right here. I've got my series of beads on. I'm going to go down into the 80 next to the one I'm coming out of. I'm going to hold my thumb over it to hold the stitch together and pull this series of beads down into a loop like this. This is going to create a curve in our necklace now. So what we need to do is we need to stabilize our um, herringbone stitch so we can continue it. So we're going to pick up a 15-0 seed bead, we're going to go into the 80 next to the one we're coming out of, and we're going to go all the way up through the pearl, the 15-0, the pearl, the 11-0, and the pearl. Pull gently until you pop that 15-0 into the right place on your herringbone. Now you are going to go up through the 15-0 seed bead and the 8-0s here. Then we're going to stabilize it by adding a stitch of herringbone. So we're coming out of this 8-0 right here. We're going to pick up two 8-0s. We're going to go down into the one next to the one we're coming out of. It's at a funny angle. That's okay. Just make sure that your two new beads lay out on top of your two previous beads and then pick up an 11-0 seed bead like this. Cross over into the bottom of the bead next to the one you're coming out of. So you're coming out of this 8-0. Come over to this 8-0 with an 11-0 on your thread. Hold your thumb over it to hold the stitch together and pull that 11-0 up between the pearl and the crystal, cinching that stitch together. So you have to arrange it a little bit and pull it so that it actually makes a nice tight stitch. Then you're going to come down into the 8-0s on this side, the 11 and the you're going to excuse me, you're going to come down through the two 8-0s, the 15 the crystal, and then exit. Don't go into the bottom um, 15 0. Just exit the crystal right here. Pick up an 11 0 seed bead. Cross over, go into the pearls on this side. And through the pearl and the 11 0. If you can get the other pearl, that's good too. If not, just pull until you get that 11 0 into place and then sew up the next pearl, which is a little bit harder to get into once you do that, but that's okay. Then we're going to go up into the rest of the beads on this side. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure everything is tight. Pop this little 11 -0 on top. Pop this little 11 -0 on top of the beads so that everything is held together pretty nicely. And then we are going to start a um, different type of embellishment. But first we're going to finish our next five series of um, herringbone. Excuse me. Let me rephrase that. What we're going to do now is three more stitches of herringbone placing our 15-0 seed beads in between as we do it. Once we have accomplished our three stitches, because we have two here, in total we'll have five, then we will do another embellishment. So go ahead and grab two 8 seed beads, pull them down, pick up a 15-0, cross over, and go up into the two 8 on this side. Continue until you have five um, stitches in total. So do two more and we will be back. Okay, so now we have our five units of herringbone. We have three of our 15 no seed beads on top, but we have not placed one in the last section yet. And that's where you should be. Now we're going to do another embellishment. You're going to pick up onto your needle a 15 0, a pearl, 15 0, two eightos. 15-0, pearl, and 15-0. Then you're going to bring this down to your piece. And 
you are then going to go through the next 50 or 80 seed bead next to the one you're coming out of. So straight down into the very next 80. Bring these beads down into a leap, loop, leap, yeah, okay. And then pick up a 15 o seed bead and cross over. Come up through the 15 o, the pearl, 15 o, and 8 o. Then we are going to pick up an 8 o, and then we're going to pick up a bicone crystal, if I can pick one up. And then we're going to pick up three 8 seed beads. And you're going to drop this down. This is what you should have. A 8 bicone, three 8 -0s. Then you are going to skip or go around the first two 8 and go into the third 8 You'll go into the crystal and the 8 behind it, just like this. And then put your thumb on it and pull your thread through. This is what you should end up with. Get it straightened out here. Just like this. Now you are going to go into the 80 here and the 150 and the pearl and exit the pearl here. Pull through and then pick up an 11 o seed bead. And then you are going to go up through the pearl, up through the 8 o, and the 8 o on top of it, the 8 o in the middle, and then the 8 o also to the left. It's like so. And straighten it all out. Now we're going to stabilize this by grabbing a 15-0. Um, Let me see how I... Yes, a 15-0, a pearl, and then a 15-0, two eight -0s. <laughs> I got 11-0 in there, sorry. 15-0, pearl, 15-0, two eight -0s. A 15 O and a pearl and a 15 O. And I will show you, of course, just like this. Then we're going to drop this down. And of course, I've got a 15 O that will not travel. So we'll do that again 15 O, pearl, 15 O, two eight O's, 15 O. Pearl and a 15 O. Exactly the same thing I just picked up. Now I am going to come back through the 8 O here, the 8 O underneath it into the crystal, down into the 8 O in the center here, just like this. And then I am going to push my needle through. Open those up on top a little bit. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go through this 8 here. Pick up an 11 seed bead. And go through the 8 here. Just opposite of where you are coming out of this one. Go into this one with an 11 on your needle. Up through the middle portion again. All the way up through. So you're exiting the middle 8 o there on the other side and pull. Now you've got an 11 o nicely into place. Now you're going to travel up into this 8 o, this 15 o, the pearl, and the 15 o. <laughs> Can you get that 15 o? Come on. 
and the dough on top of it. So I'm just coming through all of these beads. Lay this ado out a little bit better here. And then to stabilize that stitch, I am going to go ahead and pick up two ados, come down through the ado on the other side, the 15 0, the pearl, and exit. Pull this down, pick up an 11 0 seed bead crossover, come up through the pearl, the 15-0, and the two eight-0s on top. And now I need to place a um, 11 0 here also. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up an eight a couple 8 0s. I'll go through both of these 8 0s on this side, pull this down, pick up an 11 0, cross over, and go up through all three on this side, pull this down. And now I need to place my 15-0 here, so I have to backtrack a little. I'm going to go through two beads on this side. Make sure your 11-0 pops out over the top, and then tighten your thread so that it stays in place. You don't want them to fall back behind the beads because then they won't cover the thread bridges. Now we're going to pick up a 15-0 seed bead, and we're going to cross over here and go up two beads so that our 15-0 is placed between. And now we're on track to do our herringbone and we will need five stitches of it. So this is, I'm going to show you what you will do now off camera. This is getting to be very long, so I'm going to show you. Now, you have just done this entire portion right here. So what you are going to do is you're going to put five um, stitches of herringbone, then you're going to back up the, the video and watch this section again and put another embellishment exactly like it. So you're going to do five of your herringbone. You're going to do another section just like this and then you're going to do five herringbone and we'll be back. Okay, so I have done my last embellishments and my five units of herringbone. And just to show you, just so there's no confusion, after your corner, you do five units of herringbone, and then you do a pearl embellishment that leads into the skinny crystal embellishment, and then a pearl embellishment on the end. Five more units of herringbone, you do the pearl embellishment that leads into the skinny embellishment, and then out into the pearl embellishment, and then five more units. Now that we've done that, we need to make another corner. What's very important about making these corners is that your thread is coming out on the same side mine is. So if your thread is coming out towards the inside, which it could be as we're doing our herringbone and turning around in our beads, we could get on different sides than each other. So what you're going to do if you need to turn your thread around is you're going to go down through three beads. So you're coming out of this side, you're coming to this side, or vice versa. doesn't matter. Just come over into the next bead, go down three beads. And then you can cross through your 15 0 Go up one bead on this side, cross through your 15-0, and then come out, and now you're in the opposite row of beads. Now I don't necessarily want to be in this row, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself established back into my um, original position here. and. This just shows you how you can move from row to row so that you can follow me. And your corner one, it's very important that you're coming out of the right bead. Normally, and most of it, it doesn't matter. But in this one, it does. So now we're going to do our corner embellishment. We're going to pick up a 15-0 seed bead, a pearl, 
an 11 0, a per, uh, pearl, a 15 0, two 8 0s, and a crystal. Let's see, a 15 0, a crystal, and a 15 0. Like this. So, what you will have, just like we did it before, 15 0, pearl, 11 0, pearl, 15 0, two 8 0s, 15 0, uh, bicon crystal, and 15 0. And then you're going to bring this down. You're going to go through the bead next to the one you're coming out of. Come down. Make sure that the pearls go to the outside of your necklace because it creates a curve, so you need it to be in the proper position. And then pick up a 15 0 seed bead, cross over, go up through all the beads on this side. I'm going through the pearl and the 11 0 here, the 15 0, pearl 11 0. Then I'm going to go through the pearl 11 0, 15 0, and 1 8 0. And that's where I'm at, right there. And now I am going to pick up two 8 seed beads to stabilize and begin my herringbone. So I'm coming out of this one, I'm going to go into this one here, and I'm also going to go down into the 15 and the crystal, and then I will exit the crystal. And pull your thread tight so everything is laying together correctly. And then we have to cinch this stitch together, so pick up an 11 0 and cross over from your crystal over to your pearl, go up through the 11 0, and then work your way back up to the top. So I'm going to go up through the pearl, the 15 0, the two 8 0s, like this, and pull through. Now I need to, um, I'm going to go ahead and do another herringbone. I'll have to backtrack to put my 15 0 on, but that's okay. So I'm going to pick up two 8 0s. I'm going to go into two 8 0s here. Pull this down into my herringbone stitch. I'll pick up an 11 0, and I'll go back over to the 8 0s on this side and go up the entire stack. Right there and pull through and pop my 11 out down into place. Now I have a nice little corner. And so let's backtrack here and put on our 15 0 seed bead in our first section here. So just go through two beads, pick up a 15 0 and cross over. And now you're back on track to finish your herringbone. So go ahead and do five units. So we've already got three. Do two more units of herringbone. And then we'll come back and we'll transition into herringbone in smaller beads. And then we'll put clasping on. After that, we have some embellishments to tie on and do, and then we'll be done. I realize this is a long video. However, there's just so many steps that I couldn't just leave it with you to just do. Otherwise, if it's really repetitious, it's pretty easy to cut off and not make the video so long. But anyway, go ahead and make your herringbone. We'll be back. Okay, so I have done my five herringbone stitches. Left it with the three 15 O's just as I have been doing. And now we're going to transition down into a smaller herringbone with um, 11 O seed beads. And how we're going to do that as we're coming out of this bead here, we're going to pick up a 15 0 and an 11 0 and an 11 0 and a 15 0. Just like this. And then we're going to cross over and come through the bead next to the one we're coming out of. And we've just reduced our stitch, is all we've done. Now we're going to pick up a 15 0 seed bead. And we are going to place it between 
here. So I've come up through that 15 mm also. And then I'm going to come up through the 11 mm here. Make sure my 15 mm is between those 8 mm correctly. Just like that. And then I'm going to pick up two 11 mm I'm going to go through one of the 11 mm here. Then I'm going to pick up a 15 mm and I'm going to draw this all together by coming over to this side, going up through the two beads on this side, and place my 15 mm And now I can begin my herringbone stitch. So I will pick up two 11 mm seed beads. I'm coming out of this one, I will go into this one on this side, and pull them down. And then I'll pick up a 15 mm seed bead and I'll cross over into this side and go up two on this side. One's kind of twisted. Give me a second, guys. Just like this. And I will continue doing the herringbone just as we have been doing and placing the 15 mm seed beads over the thread bridge on each previous stitch just like I did in the 8 mm seed beads. And I will continue until I have 21 units of herringbone. I'm not counting the 15 mm's, just the 11 mm's. And once you have finished that, then we will put on our clasp. So you'll be coming out of one of your 11 mm seed beads after your last herringbone stitch. You will not have an embellishment on the very last one of a 15 mm seed bead. You'll pick up an 8 mm and bring it down to the piece of work and then you will pick up your clasp. Go through the loop on your clasp. Bring it down to the 8 mm now make sure everything's straightened up nice and neat, and then you're going to go back through the 8 mm seed bead. Now hold on to it and just pull the thread through. And then go into the other side of your herringbone. Just like that. And that will pull the 8 mm seed bead straight. And then you'll pick up a 15 mm You'll go across, that's not a 15 mm let me get a 15 mm You'll go across into the 11 mm next to the one you're coming out of. You can also go up into the 8 mm and into the clasp. Hold on to your piece and guide that 15 mm into place, just like this. Now, as we sew down through, we're going to go through different beads down on our herringbone so that we're not sewing through the same two constantly and making a division in our herringbone. So we're coming out of the clasp, go down into the 8 mm and then pick one side of your herringbone and go down several beads. I'm going down about five beads, five or six, something like that, and pulling it down. I'm going to turn it over on the back And then I'm going to cross over and go back up through the seed beads. Go directly across, go back up through all of your herringbone, pull your thread through, go back up through your clasp, and then, oops, I'm sorry, go through the 8 0 and then your clasp. Don't go right through the clasp, that's not going to work. Right up through the 8 0 into the herringbone. And now I've got three um, threads going through there, so I can tie off if I want. So I'm just going to go down about three beads now. Okay, so I'm coming out of this bead here after securing my clasp and I want to tie off on a thread bridge in the middle here. I want to tie off on one that's level with my thread. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to go underneath that thread bridge and create a loop in my thread and then go through that loop. 
Now just make sure that your thread goes down between the beads like that. I hope you could, have, you could see what I was doing. Just grab a hold of a thread bridge, make a loop, go through the loop, and pull. Just making sure that you're right level with the thread bridge that you choose. And then you can either sew down into your herringbone or up, and I think I'll just go across and go up. Go through these beads here and just exit somewhere. and then I can cut my thread off and burn it down. Go around and burn down your tags too after you're all finished. But at this point, um, well hopefully you could see what I was doing, but at this point you should be able to Go ahead and do the other side of your necklace unless you've been stopping and doing one side and then the other side as I was showing you how to do it. If not, then you're going to just pick up where you left off on either side and finish that side exactly the same way you did your first side. And you can back up the video and watch it because it's exactly the same on either side. And this is so far what my necklace looks like. And this will be around an 18 inch necklace. So it'll be more of a collar type. And I'm going to go ahead and tie on and make a few embellishments here. Just to change up the bottom of it. Because the way it's shaped, it just lends to having a nice embellishment. So we'll go ahead and do that and then we will be finished. Finish this second side of your necklace if you haven't yet and then we'll be back okay so now I'm going to tie on and make an embellishment from here to here and then from here to here and put a crystal here and then go over here and here because I regretted not put putting a crystal on in the beginning so I'm going to rectify that so what we are going to do is I have threaded onto my needle about an arm's length and a half of thread just to make sure I have plenty. And I'm going to start right here on my first unit that makes the necklace bend. So my first little pearl unit right here, the one past the embellishment. And I'm just going to go to the back of it and I'm going to go underneath the 15 now and pearl here just between them I'm just going to put my thread in there and then I am going to tie a knot and I'm going to do it carefully hoping that I can stay in between the beads here if not we can tie onto the herringbone and you can do that too you can tie onto the thread bridge on the back of the herringbone then sew through it and sew through the unit where we want to be so you can do that too. So now I'm just going to guide this right between these beads. Right here. And then I'm going to tie another knot. And guide it down. And pull it really tight. And this is, if you have really thick thread, you may not be able to make that look as nice. I'm just going to cut it down some just so the tail isn't in my way and then I'll burn it down after I sew through and secure this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew into this pearl and then into this 11 -0. and then I'm going to sew into this pearl and this 15 -0 and up into this first unit of herringbone. So I'll go into the first 8 0 right after the 15 0 if I can get in between them. There we go. Let me get really close for you. So I tied on here, sewed up through, and now I'm coming through this first 8 0 in my herringbone. And then I'm going to go down into this one here just 
So I'm going through all the beads, the 8-0, the 15-0, the crystal, the 15-0, and the next 8-0 on the other side. Pull this thread down into the herringbone stitch, and then cross over, go back into the herringbone on the bead next to the one you're coming out of. That I hope I'm in camera. I'm having a real hard time with this today. I don't know. So, I'm going to slide up from the 8-0, the 15-0, and the pearl. Okay. And pull this down. Now I'm going to go into this 11-0 seed bead right here. And I'm tied on, I'm secure, and I'm ready for my embellishment. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a 15 O seed bead and then I'm going to pick up five pearls. You can also use your crystals if you'd rather. It would be the same count. It's just um, your preference. If you want to have crystals on your embellishment or if you want to have pearls and I've elected to put pearls on it. And that pearl evidently doesn't have a hole. So pick up five pearls and a 15-0. So it'll be a 15-0, five pearls, and a 15-0 on your needle. So it's like this. Back off just a little bit. And we're coming out of this bead right here. We're going to go into the very top bead of our unit of, um, of our cushion cut unit. So right on this very tip, 11-0 right here. Get you close again. Right there. And then pull it through. Now I'm not making these big swags. I'm just making them little because I think it's going to look better with just a little swag. A big one I don't think would look so good in that small of a space. So now I'm coming out of this one. I'm going to pick up a 15-0 and then I'm going to pick up 11 pearls. So um, go ahead and start counting your pearls and when I have 11 on here I okay, will Okay, so that. off camera I noticed that 11 wasn't quite enough. I had laid it out earlier, but it wasn't enough. So I picked up a 15-0, and then I picked up 15 pearls and a 15-0. Let's get in close. Bring it out a little bit here. And so now we're coming out of here. We've got our 15 pearls and our two 15-0s. We are going to go into this very center 11-0 seed bead right here and pull and see how that lays in there okay seems to be okay and then we are going to do an embellishment right here on this little unit so I'm going to pick up a 15 O, and I'm going to pick up a bicone crystal and a 15-0 and see how this fits on here yes and so then I'm going to go into this top bead right here so I'm in this 11-0 here I've got my 15-0 my bicone crystal and my 15-0 and I'm going to go into this crystal from the left side over to the right and pull this down and we'll see how that looks. Seems to be okay. So let's pick up a 15-0. We may need to put two 15-0s on either side. I haven't decided yet. We're going to slide down through the crystal like this and pull. That seems to be okay. And then we're going to pick up another 15-0. And we're going to go into the opposite side of the 11-0 where we started, right there. So go back into that 11-0. 
and pull. Do 15 all down. And yeah, that works really well. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a 15 O and 15 pearls and work our way over here. So go ahead and do that. And then we will pick up our 15 O five pearls and work our way over here. Go ahead and do your embellishment from here to here and then from here to here and we'll be back to tie it Okay, off. so I put my 15 beads on here and then my 15 O through the 11 O, 15 O, five beads, 15 O through this 11 O and now we are going to sew up through this pearl and as we um, go through this and tie it off, we will make sure that we pull our embellishment very tightly so that the 15 O's in the center um, pop up over the pearls and the embellishment lays correctly. So what I am doing is I'm going through, I'll get you closer, I'm going through this pearl, I'm coming out of this 11 O right here, I'm going up through the pearl and trying to avoid the 15 O on top of it if I can. This is all pretty tight now, so I'm through the pearl right there. And then I'm going to go through this 11 O here. Pull everything tight now. Make sure that this embellishment has no slack whatsoever because in the center if you have slack your 15 O's are not going to lay correctly over your pearls and it's going to look funny so make sure you have absolutely no slack and then we're going to sew up into this herringbone so I'm going to go up into this 8 0 right here and a couple of 8 0's and then I'm going to turn my piece over Make sure I'm in camera. So I'm coming up through those eight O's right there. I'm pulling my thread through. And then I'm going to grab, make sure everything's tight, give it a nice tug. And then I'm going to grab this thread bridge right here between the herringbone stitches. I'm going to tie a knot. And then I'm going to sew back down into the herringbone, back down into this um, 15 O and pearl right here, into this 11 O, and into the 15 O on the pearl. Do I want to go in there? Yeah, I do. And then I'm just going to go into the herringbone. It doesn't matter how you tie off. You can tie off however is convenient for you. I'm just trying not to boggle up the stitches on my necklace as I do it. So I'm just going through my original thread path and tying off. Now I'm on a thread bridge again and I'm just tying a knot. And then I'm going to go back up into the herringbone and then maybe through this crystal and through the 15 O if I can. If I can't, I'll just cut it off. I can't. So I'm just going to get really close and cut it off. And this is what the finished piece looks like. I think it turned out quite pretty. I'm sorry if there was a few areas where I was a little out of frame and a little um, sketchy with it. And that's because I was designing as I was making this one. But um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked the finished product. And um, I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.